and stall one, but we're set, ready, and they're off. Not the quickest away, the favourite, my noble law, but a mile and three quarters ahead of them in the weatherbyracing.co.uk handicap stakes. The first to stride with the noseband is Sundancer Girl in company with Believe It And You Can, who's going to make the running here in the dark blue and red colours in the hands of Paul Mole Redham. So the early leader, as they race up past the enclosures with a circuit to go, is Believe It And You Can. To in second place with the noseband, the white colours of Sundancer Girl. In third, the silver is flowering. In fourth on the inside, the green and beige of the crafty mole. In fifth place is the market leader, my noble lord, in the dark blue with the maroon on the sleeves, and then comes Philly Bustering in the beige and blue, and the black and white diamonds, the rank outsider, nobody's girl, is the early bat marker. Making the run then towards the back straight. Got about a mile and two to go from here. And the leader out in front by about three parts of a length here is Believe It and You Can. So Believe It and You Can's in front to in second place and is Sundancer Girl. Racing in third on the outside is Flowering, looking to get off the mark here after several placed efforts in the silver colours. Back towards the inside is the Crafty Mole. And then out wider is the Wolverhampton winner, My Noble Lord, on the outside of Philly Bustering and the bat marker is Nobody's Girl. Continue their journey towards the midway point of the back straight and they're now well inside the final mile. So up front, Sundancer Girl up on the outside for Cliff Lee with the noseband. On the inside is Believe It In You Can, the dark blue and red. Just off the pace on the inner is the Crafty Mole. One out, one back is Flowering under a tight hold for Connor Beasley. Behind those, we have Philly Bustering on the inside for David Allen looking for a double. That's the blue cap. Kevin Stott has My Noble Lord anchored towards the tail of the field and the bat marker is still Fame at Manaman on board Nobody's Girl. Making the run now towards the end of the back straight. They're heading inside the final three quarters of a mile. And the leader is still Believe It In You Can. By about the length at this stage to in second place, Sundancer Girl. Third on the inside is the Crafty Mole. Behind those in fourth is Flowering in the silver colours and then comes Philly Bustering. My Noble Lord, the hot favourite is next. Has just got one behind and that one is Nobody's Girl. They're inside the five now on the side of the course, heading for the final half mile in the home turn. Still up front is Believe It And You Can. The pace starts to increase. Annette Clear to Sundancer Girl, who's poised in second. The Crafty Mole on the inside in third. Out wider in the silver is Flowering. Then comes uh, My Noble Lord. Still no move yet from Kevin Stott. And the bat marker is Nobody's Girl as they head down then towards the final three furlongs. So in line for home, still there is Sundancer Girl. Flowering coming to challenge on the near side. My Noble Lord asked for a bit more, starts to stay on, but work to do. The Crafty Mole is looking for an out as they head down inside the final two furlongs here. New leader because Philly Bustering has now picked it up on the far side, the blue cap. Philly Bustering to in second place, Believe It In You Can, who's sticking on quite well. The Crafty Mole is running on towards the stand side, the beige cap. My Noble Lord uh, surely looks held from there. Inside the final furlong, Philly Bustering. The danger, though, is the Crafty Mole coming home well for Mark Wynn down the near side. The Crafty Mole is coming hard at Philly Bustering. These two, the Crafty Mole edging ahead late on. The Crafty Mole just got up. The Crafty Mole tipped out Philly Bustering, who ran really well. And they were clear of Believe It In You Can in third. 